Hey guys, welcome to Shams Garden. In today's video, I'll be talking about the symbiotic relationship between ants and aphids. When you are starting a new garden, aphids is the first problem or the first pest that attacks your garden. And adding fuel to the fire, ants start to farm aphids and in most cases red ants would be farming aphids so that even if you try to spray or try to dislodge aphids of the plants, these red ants would pick them up and again they would farm and spread the disease to a whole plant. Well, in today's video, I will be talking about ants and aphids and what is the relationship between about them. And in my next video, I will be telling you a secret recipe on how to get rid of aphids and ants all together from your plants. So let's see on how ants farm aphids as we humans farm goats or cows. This is a mahendra tree. You can see that there's quite a lot of aphids and ants farming. Well, ants farm aphids. The reason that I say that is because ants utilize the honeydew secretion of the aphids. Well, what's really honeydew? When aphids stick to a plant, they penetrate and hit the phloem. Well, phloem tissues are really highly pressured. They push out the sugary substance outside, which is actually starch. But the aphids ingest it and it comes out of their anus and that sweet substance is called honeydew so ants collect that honeydew and they utilize it as food these ants collect the honeydew and take it to their nest and they feed their queen and they make their colony more and more bigger and they won't let the aphids die because it's their food source these small tiny white things that you see, those are the nymphs of the aphids. Well, you can say they are the kids of aphids, they are the next generation. And ants won't really take care of them. But when they come to a little adult stage, they, when they start to secrete honeydew, that's the stage that ants want to collect their honeydew. So till then, ants really won't mind the nymphs getting out of control. There's a lot of aphids in my mehendi plant and not in the scissors quadrangularis which is a type of spinach that you can eat or make chutneys out of it. The reason why aphids attack certain type of plants and not the other is because due to the leaf structure, their texture, the toxic substance they produce. Well exactly it's same like cows how they like to eat certain type of plants and they don't prefer to eat woody substance or plants that produce some kind of toxins or whether they are really sour. Well, if it's like cows and ants are like humans. Well, you may ask whether ants farm at night or do they sleep like us during the nights? Absolutely, ants sleep, but their sleeping time is less than one minute. It's kind of like a power nap for ants. They work day and night, to be honest. Most gardeners face problems like these with ants and aphids during the initial stages. They may try spraying neem oil and other kind of pesticides, but it really doesn't work for them. Well, it may control the aphids, but it'll never get rid of them. So in my next video, I'll be showing you a special kind of pesticide which you can use for ants and for aphids. Well, ants really don't love them and aphids burn out of it. It's kind of a pesticide that you can prepare at home. So stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.